Well, uh, you know, like I, I asked Juan, uh, you know, I'm not a big halftime talk guy, but obviously, you know, something had to be said at halftime. And what did the coaches try to, you know, get through to you guys to get you uh, straightened out in the second half? Uh, well, we, we got up ahead, like, I think up, up nine in the first half, and then we kind of started letting up and not being as aggressive on uh, both ends of the floor, and they started coming back into it. So halftime, he just uh, c continued to push on us to keep being aggressive both on defense and offense, because when we did that, that's when we gained the lead. And, uh, Stopped doing that towards the end of the second half, and that's when uh, I think we ended up getting down five at one point. So uh, he just stressed that we needed to keep uh, staying aggressive on defense and as an offense and uh, working the ball inside and uh, just trying to take stuff away on the defensive end. Yeah, you guys worked the ball inside very well, and your defense was good in the second half. You know, just talk about, you know, when they press, that's going to open things up, you know, mm -hmm. some in transition, but also you guys were able to score in the half court inside too. You know, just talk about being able to do it both ways, and, and it really threw uh, UMKC off. Yeah, they kept throwing a different, uh, bunch of different defenses at us. Uh, a lot of zones that were trapping, and then we set ball screens. They were uh, hedging and trapping that a lot. So it opened the middle up, and that gave us a lot of great opportunities to uh, attack the basket, you know, spread the floor out. So uh, in the second half, I think all of our shots came from uh, we're in the paint, and that, you know, that's high percent of shots is what you know, any team wants. So uh, we just kind of took what they gave us, and we just attacked the rim and just got the free throw on. What? You guys are 7-2, so you're in, in, in pretty good shape, you know, with a few non-conference games left. You know, there's that, but there's also, you know, there's times like today's game where you're not playing as well as you'd want to play. Where do you feel the team is at? I mean, there's, it seems like it's hard to pull away from teams. Then again, you don't let teams pull away from you. I mean, where do you kind of put all that right now? Well, I mean, we're definitely not where we want to be. Uh, we have good spurts, but, you know, they're just spurts. we, we got to put a couple spurts together. Uh, the first half, we were playing really well. And, you know, like I said, got up nine, but then, you know, we started getting like a day's goal on defense and offensive end, stop being aggressive. So I think that's what we got to work on. We need to work on having longer spurts and more continuous uh, consecutive spurts, and uh, that's going to help us out, uh, you know, both defense and offensively, and it's going to get us a lot more wins. It's a big uh, game with uh, St. Louis on Wednesday. You know, uh, talk about that. That's another opportunity to, you know, Give, give, give this team some notice. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a big game for both teams. Uh, we're going to go ahead in this week and you know, work hard and try to get, uh, get ourselves better before we go into the game. You know, stress defense again like we always do. We try to get better at that each game and then go out uh, when we play them and just try to uh, you know, play the best uh, we can. All right, Justin, thank you.